Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lady Lauren Xor, and today I have a series that I completed like, well, started it last night and then completed it this morning, afternoon ish. And that is the Wolf series by Penelope Sky. And the first book in the series is The Wolf and the Sheep. But before we get into this, please like and subscribe if you want to see more from me. I do book reviews, um, book recommendations almost every other day, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, sometimes Sunday. So, you know, just, just hit the subscribe button and like if you like it and like if you don't like it. But yes, okay, so Wolf is a series. It's a marriage and a convenience series, actually, but we're following the same couple. So in Wolf and the Sheep, we follow Maverick and Ar Arwen, 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 I think her name is Arwen, and this is set in Italy, Florence and the outskirts to be exact. And what we are, what we like know, because this is dual perspective, is that Maverick is very cold because of his upbringing and even colder because of something that happened previous months ago with his mother dying and how she died and his father is just psychotic now he doesn't care about his children he only wants revenge and we find out that someone close to him has information about the whereabouts of the person that killed his mother and his wife so the duo go to the house of the person and he's like yes i have the information i know where he is i'll give it to you the only thing is i won't give it to you unless you maverick marries my daughter and his maverick's father's like yeah He's gonna do it. And Maverick's like, no, I don't want to get married. They want to get I never wanted to get married. I don't I don't want this. My mom wouldn't want this. And his father is just like, no, you're just like a chess piece. You're, you're just do what I say because we need to get this revenge. I don't care if you have to marry her. You're going to marry her because I want this information. I want his whereabouts so I can bring upon pain to him. Yes, very, very passionate too. Well, long story short, they do. The, the reason why is Arwen's father is dying, but he also has debt. He has been up to his deals with debt. And these people, these very bad people he's been like stealing from and scheming, want their money. And he's about to die. So who are they gonna go after? his daughter and they're going to do the same thing that they did to maverick's mother but for money <laughs> to his daughter he doesn't want that so he wants maverick's and maverick's family's protection and so obviously they do but they already know that both of them because arwen is a opera singer that's her career she sings and she knows like she doesn't want to do this but her father coerces her maverick is the one that mostly coerces her sorry to doing this because she knows well he knows what's going to happen to her and he keeps telling her what's going to happen to her <laughs> if she doesn't have his protection if they don't get married so they get married and her father gives both of them the information that they need and things go okay with the father-son dynamic, it's very bad. Um, we found out he has a sister who, something's wrong with her. She's in rehab and it has to, it stems from her mother's death. Her mother's death is a whole trigger warning. And what her father wants to do to the enemy that did what happened to her or his mother, is crazy like i hope it makes sense basically his father wants to do everything that that this person did to his wife to everyone around him it's crazy crazy he's crazy 
So they in this first book, we see them interacting. We also get the villain that's like a, a factor. Because there's two villains, the father and then another villain. And he just gets brung up, like, he gets seen once, and then he gets brung up in the end of the book. But, like, he's not, he's a, he's a shadow figure, basically. Um, nothing really happens until the second book. <laughs> Which, yeah, that was crazy, too. But um, they both don't want this. So she's okay with him sleeping around, and he's okay with her sleeping around. And they do that. It actually works very well. They have an open, room, open marriage. Things start getting a little finicky because she's very beautiful and he sees that. So when they're sometimes when they're together, he gets this jealous emotion and he hasn't felt at all. So he's feeling it is with her. And in this book, she betrays his trust, but her instincts was for the betterment. And I think it's kind of like hypocritical of him to be mad at her in this instance because he said the same exact thing but didn't put actions to words. She did. They want to give it away. So in the second book, which is Wolf and His Wife, we are still dealing with the fallout of this book. And everything seems to just be going back to the way it was because they had chemistry and now they're just basically strangers. So this is where if you don't want to read the series or you don't want to be spoiled from the series, you can just like, you know, click off. But just know it is three series in this three book series, they are slowly falling in love with each other, especially Maverick, because again, this is both sold in dual perspective and they their dynamic is slowly changing and sometimes it gets pushed back to square one sometimes it gets pushed forward and then goes back because of certain betrayals and certain actions that they both do and perceive of each other this is really good so just saying that book four stars so just saying now spoilers so in this one the fallout from the end of Wolf and the Sheep. And it's crazy because Wolf and the Sheep is nicknames. He's the wolf and she's the sheep. His nickname for her is Sheep. So in this one, we start seeing Maverick's emotions come out more. He's becoming physically emotional, um, romantic feelings for her. He's starting to see her in a new light and not just... He's starting to see her as a wife and not just someone who's there. And she is starting to fall in love with him. You see how I said the difference? Like, there's a difference in what I just said. (laughs) Because there's a difference in them. (laughs) But in this, they're still in an open relationship, but they are coming together more. Everything's becoming more than a physical aspect of their relationship. The feelings are getting involved. Mainly it's just feelings. But we do have our villain and some things happen because of our second villain, which is his father. It's it's a lot. Um, Arwen is very nosy and it's it's for a good cause. Like it's good intentions, but a lot of happy things happen because of her good intentions. And they're mostly negative. A lot of negative things. And this is literally where we start seeing her, his father be the evil villain, number one. And then evil villain number two is out there. <laughs> so in this one, um, our villains kind of unite and something happens where Maverick shows his love and actions, but he doesn't say it, but he shows his love and actions and she perceives it as love. Like it's meant to be like, it's meant to be love, but um, 
after these actions have happened, they host a party and she does something and expresses herself in front of everyone, but mainly him, and he takes it the wrong way. Like, he runs scared and he betrays her heavily betrays her and this is the infidelity because even though they have an open marriage something happens where she opens herself up to having this physical relationship without protection and she's okay with monogamy because it's just him and her in a relationship if it was an open relationship an open marriage with them again he would have to use barriers but since it's just the two of them she doesn't she there's no barriers so when the barriers aspect breeding obviously because barriers are gone but when he runs scared he comes back and has two women and he walks right past her she sees these women <laughs> And she's so hurt, like very hurt. Like this is the ultimate betrayal. And he looks at her in the eye and then goes upstairs to the woman. And then the next this book ending is her asking for a divorce. So yeah, so that was book <laughs> two. And book three I read on ebook because I don't have the physical copy of it. Um, and that is the Lonely Wolf. And it's basically him groveling to get his wife back. But um, the evil number two is gone from the series because of something that happens. The actions that he proved his love for um, her during. And so we still have evil number one, which is his father. So um, she decides that she doesn't want to be around him she wants a divorce they're going to be separated he is realizing that he loves her he's never said it he's never um thought about it as love and until it's like spelled out to him that his actions were love and that's what the final book is about is just him groveling to get his wife back but also the combination of his father even number one, like putting a damper on things and Arwen really trying to bridge the family together. That makes no sense because like, why would you try to bridge together your father-in-law who wants you dead? <laughs> There's a reason. So yeah. So all three of these books were four stars for me. So the whole entire series is a 4.5. I definitely enjoyed it the uh, it's very fast very fast paced because everything just happens bam 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 in the sequences the i love the dual perspectiveness of everything especially because maverick's point of view is really good reading his emotions you're very invested in that and you always get the point of view of the heroine always almost the time but like 90% of the time you always get the point of view of the heroine and it's very nice to see his thought process of like how he's slowly falling into like with his wife and then his epiphany of love and also like he's not he didn't understand well he doesn't understand what he did was betrayal because they in an open relationship you know communication is the key though so but i definitely liked this definitely liked it it was really good really good series definitely enjoyed it i like really recommend because like they're very short like none of them are over 300 pages so it's very short very quick and i highly recommend I love Maverick, but I also like the description of their sex because Maverick is above average and her like describing when he's like 
pushing in wild. I was just like, oh, okay, wow, all, all right. <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, my name is Lady Lauren Explorer. I will see you in my next video and I hope you have a wonderful day. Again, like and subscribe if you want to see more from me and um, bye. <laughs>